welcome cooking with Suli guys so guys today's video I am gonna make pastries of ground beef um I am in Spanish just called pastelito de carne so what you need is pastry of pastry sheets you need ground beef already cooked it could be from the day before however you want there's your ground beef and you need two eggs you you need to like do this to it like 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 like, like whisk it and then you need a little, little brush for you to put it around the i'll show you guys and that's the only reason you guys need and if you have an air fryer perfect or you can bake it in the oven i'm doing it in the air fryer it came out really good last week everyone loved it okay guys down here now um they wanted, I did it last week with um, Moyala and I did it in the air fryer. It came out super good on the air fryer, I'm not gonna lie. So these come with two sheets. I'm just using one for now. Um, so separate one of the So this is one sheet for now. And you see it comes with, all right, I'll be careful here. I just let it um, be outside for a little bit for I could be able to use it. So it has these little sheets in between. So it's pretty cool. So what I do is, let me just finish opening here. So what I do is, I end up doing this to it. And then I eyeball it here and then I cut it like this and then one side is the only thing that we're gonna add the um picadillo to and then you put the egg white the egg it's not your egg white it's the egg and then you just put it on top of each other and i'll show you how i did it now so we need a spoon too guys hold that right, so what you do is refill it here in the middle i'm showing you now there guys i did one off camera let me see um so now we put egg white all over the up here and back here. This is what I did. The, okay, the back is not working. This is what I did the other day. I made these. They do not break apart. I just like doing this to it and like I like doing that to it and then put it to the side. Just it's very sticky when you um don't leave it too long outside so many you guys know try to not leave it like hours outside because that's what i did yesterday but leave it room temperature so let's do the other one and let's you could do this with a lot of things um cubans and other um part of the countries like from latin america they like to use different things. Um, you know, when if you were born in a Cuban household, this was like something they would make a lot. Pastelito guayaba or de queso, or they will make. Um, Trying to make sure everything's gonna fit. Or they, yeah, I don't like this, but they will make. Um, what is it again? Croquetas too, like homemade croquetas, because I remember my grandma making them when we were little. So I like doing this to it. I, you could put ham and cheese to it. You could do whatever you want to this pastry. Okay, guys. Yes. I put it. I when I did it the first time, what I did with the air fryers, I put it for 375, and I put it for like 15 seconds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it again, and what I do in it, in in between, I just turn it for it could come out, you know, crispy in the in the. It comes out perfect, but if I could come on both colors, okay, guys. Um, and I'm gonna do the other sheet, the guayaba. I'll show you guys now how to make it with guayaba. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. So I'm back. So and now we're gonna do it the guayaba. So I have, guys. If you could get the guayaba in jelly form, better. You could get it like this, much better. Cause this is what I do to make this. I just grab it. Like it's very, very, very beware because the guayaba is very sticky. 
That's the only thing with the guayaba. It's super sticky. And I use my spoon to take it out. It's just right now I'm having trouble. And I get like a really big chunk because that's one thing about me. I love guayaba. Like, you ask me a patelito that I will eat, it will be the guayaba. Love it. My sister's de carne, I'm the guayaba. My favorite one. So we do the same thing as the other one. Put the egg mixture like this and close it up. All right, we're gonna close it up before it goes. Close it up. So I like adding really good chunks of it. And oh yeah, like I said, I put the air fryer for three, 375 for 15, um, the, you know, the minutes are 15. So that's what I do, the degrees are 375 guys. That's what I do, you know. I, that's what I decided to do. So, okay, let's try to get the other piece. Guys, I'm telling you, they have guayaba, the jelly, like jelly form. That's the best one because you actually can work better with it. So many you guys know. So yeah, guys, um, put it for 375, right? Depends on your air fry. Um, you check on check if you guys have the setting for baking, because that's what I did. My setting for baking is different. So if you do have a setting for baking, do it with the baking setting because it says here it is 350 degrees and 17 minutes. So pretty good. Those are the minutes you have to use. This is the setting of baking that I have that I just realized that, that that's what I was using the other day. These are the uncooked ones that I'm still waiting for it to be done. Um, do little, little slits. It's on this one. I forgot to do it to you. But yeah, they're gonna come out puffy, really cute. Um, um, when they're done, I'll show you guys and I'll put these in there. So see you guys. And so guys, look how they came out. They come out so pretty. Look, see, I'm telling you, it looks like an actual pastelito and everything. Um, this one got a little squished up. It's fine, it's already cooked. So oh, it's really hot. So look how cute this is um now the like the guayaba are in there um i think i'm gonna see my, my husband said he wanted to eat one so let's see if he wants to taste it with you guys in front of the camera all right baby hello my love hello you wanted to taste like a, the, the pastelita these are the queso you want to queso? the queso the queso the the picadillo i'm so sorry guys the picadillo i'm gonna move it here It's all yours. Okay. You like it? Yeah. It's good. Let me see if it's a little bit. Ah, it's hot. <laughs> but it tastes good. <laughs> but it's hot. <laughs> yeah, guys, let this cool down. We didn't realize it was too hot, Thank guys. You. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy them. Your pastelito de um picadillo. It's really good. Yeah. Which is really hot, right? Nah, I I I made this one. That's his um what his um good night snack. <laughs> good night, boo. Guys, I say good night. Yes, it is morning. My husband does work or night shift, so for him, his hours are different. So just in case one one of you guys are like, good night is morning. What are you talking about? For him, it's not. So yeah, I did taste it. It was really good. I don't like. Um, I just went for the Wayala one. I'm gonna put another piece of paper on top. For, you know separating them yeah separating them guys look how good these came out this came out so good and so crispy um I'm gonna wait for it to cool down for we could taste it I am gonna taste one of them um so fork I'm gonna cut it in half so you guys can see still hot but look at that that looks good so when I cool down I'll take a piece of it guys guys just leave it cool down but I really want to dig into tasting this I haven't tasted it I already look up the this doesn't have no dairy nothing in it oh my god 
my god. Mm -mm -mm. This is so good and I like it because the guayaba is melted. Oh my god, this came out so good guys. I really hope you guys like this video. Honest guys, I hope you guys like this video. This was actually cooking with Suli. You, I hope you guys liked it. I want to get you guys a little bit different the video this time. I made these pastelitos like I think oh two days ago or three or a week ago, I'm not sure. And my husband and my cousin loved them. Um, my cousin actually was like, bro, she, he was like in shock. He was like, oh, Suli made these. I'm like, yeah, I made them in the air fryer. Easy peasy. You just have to play with your air fryer. The way I did it this time with the second round, I did it with 375 and I put 17 minutes. Um, That's what I did. So, you know, like saying, play with your air fryer because you have air, every air fryer has different ways to bake. Mine's is that's the way it bakes here because I saw it. And then I was messing with it and it has more timing. I wanted to give it a little bit more timing for it could get really, really crispy very crispy so that's how they came out really crispy guys um honestly guys i hope you guys like this video cooking with suli i hope you guys like it um don't forget to like subscribe comment and put that bell to get more videos guys and i hope you guys honestly have a great day and see you guys in the next one bye